he was born to lead. If you have your Bibles, can you turn to Ecclesiastes 12.1? You may be seated for now. While you're turning, um, and Ecclesiastes 3.10, don't turn there, but I'm just making a point. The word travail means pain. My mother gave birth to me. She had travail, which means pain. And she did not know that I would be up here preaching the word. Amen? But God knows. Amen? And as long as God knows, it's all right. Amen? We're born to lead. All right. Ecclesiastes 12, 1 says, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years dry not, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Amen? If some of you don't understand that, I wrote down the um, amplified version as well. It says, all right. Remember earnestly also your creator that you are not on your own, but his property now. In the days of thy youth, before the evil days days come, or the years draw near, when you will say, I have no enjoyment in them. Amen? Remember the creator. Amen? Amen. The evil days in this scripture is the knowledge of sin. Amen? Mm. It is very important to know who your creator is. Amen? Well, somebody can say man made it, but it's God. Amen? God is the creator. Amen? It's not just something that man made up. That's just a lie. The Bible says, who changed the truth into a lie and serveth the creature more than the creator. Amen? Hallelujah. But born to lead. Hallelujah. The creator is God. Everyone in here has a destiny. You may be a lawyer or teacher, but as long as you got King Jesus, you don't need nobody else. Amen? As long as you got King Jesus, you don't need nobody else. Born to lead. Some people often follow the footsteps of your father or your mother. Well, that's that's okay. But the footsteps that we really should be following is Jesus. Amen? He's holy. We should be following him. We may get in trouble. We may get bees. We may get seeds. We may get E's. But that does not mean we were not born to leave. Amen? Hallelujah. The, here's this game called follow the leader. And everything that the leader did, you had to do it. Wherever he went, you had to follow him. Whatever he did, you had to follow. Well, who is the leader in your life? Is it people in the school? Is it other friends? Is it other children? Or is it the name of Jesus? Or is it Jesus? Amen? The Bible says he was in the world and the world knew him not. But I forgot this part. And the world was made by him. 